welcome back. It is Cybercrafter, and today I just wanted to show off the uh, new server system. Uh, so this is our the new uh, Matrix server, and uh, what what is oh I forgot I'm not I don't think I'm on. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the first thing I want to show off is uh, on the right hand corner you'll see something that says fuel level. And it says 5,927. Five now I'm in survival, but I can still fly. But as I'm flying, you see that fuel level is going down. And that is something really cool we have on the server. And I basically got, with about a stack of coal, I got about 7,000 fuel level. Uh, and but that is also with the jetpack, the jetpack thermal, and that's iron. Uh, but there are multiple ways to craft. Uh, well, actually, there are multiple different jetpacks, and we will have a link on how to craft all the jetpacks. Actually, let me just show you real fast. Okay, so we ha on this we have the thermal jetpacks. There's iron and diamond. Energetic jetpacks, iron and diamond. Uh, Ender jetpacks, iron and diamond. Uh, we have solar helmets, iron and diamond, and feather boots, iron and diamond, and then we have jetpack parts, and I'm not sure if we actually have that version, and I'm not sure how it works exactly. Let's, oh, okay, well, let's, let's find out. Okay, so what do we need, uh, cart? Uh, nobody will actually be opt in this server, so uh, that is something that we're going to be doing. What is that called? Uh, I'm trying to figure out what that thing is called. Uh, the little firework kind of thing. Do you, is there any way to, is it even in? Where's the miscellaneous tab? It should be in there. Um, I forget how to craft those. Uh, mm. I swear that there's it in here somewhere. They're not. They, I think they're around here somewhere. Really. That's weird. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out how to craft them. So, alright. Firework craft. Come on. Can you use any kind? I think it's just paper and gunpowder. There we go. Okay, now let's see how we craft this. The Freddy jetpack thing. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Okay, boom, bada boom, 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 boom. <gasps> yes, we do. Uh, we need to see coal. Hmm. Oh, shift though. Ah, oh, where'd it go? Are you freaking serious? Okay, well, anyway, apparently it works. I just don't know. I think you have to put it on mine or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but another mod we have is, um, well, actually, this is two plugins. 
if you hit it, did you see that five hologram go down? Yeah, that's hit points. So how many hit points do you get on a mob? That was five hit points. That was eight hit points, I think. So damage indicator. It's a really neat plugin. Another plugin you guys saw is that the bar. So if I actually hit it with my hand, it has a bar that goes down. And uh, humans will actually have that too, except PvP on the Matrix server is turned off. Uh, I think you can, mm, I don't really exactly remember what it is. I don't think it's turned off, so you're not supposed to do it. Like, it's kind of like a server that, if you ever watched Minecraft, kind of like, everybody works together, but every once in a while you'll play a trick on someone, like Crazy Craft, just like Crazy Craft. If you've ever seen Crazy Craft, that's exactly the same thing, basically. Where you might help someone, but you also might play a trick on them, you know? You don't, like... You may live in a couple groups, or... You know, go mining, but every once in a while you'll do a video together, and it'll be kind of like a video server. And it's private, too. Uh, I've also built a couple monuments, so if I kill myself... Oh, sweet, look at that, we can kill the specific... Oh, there was probably a... Brave. That's another plugin we have for the Bravestone plugin. And it says Rip Seller GW. Age 8 minutes and 28 seconds. There we go. Uh, but around here, I have made a. Oh wow, that's even cool. It keeps it too. Uh, around here, uh, around the spawn, I have made a couple of. Uh, well, I mean, I don't really know what to call them. Uh, my. I don't know. Basically, I've just m placed a couple things around, like, uh, little structures. I don't really have anything in them. Just structures. So, we're going to start that. The Minecraft series, or actually, whoa, that was a strong hit. Six. Six. It's kind of randomized. I don't even know if it's, like, actually... Mm, yeah, I don't know if it's actually, like, true. That was five hit points. Let's punch it with a pizza. Ooh, that was one. I really like this plugin. And I have no idea what it looks on your on yourself because I can't see it. And right now we're on a land world. So well it's not a land world, it's a local host host. And um until the new um uh, basically uh, I'm rendering all this stuff on the server. Actually Bucket is actually doing pretty fine right now. Uh Bucket was having a lot of problems generating terrain it would get sliced off because the terrain isn't but now they're doing pretty good <gasps> oh i think we're near one of the crypts yeah yeah so i built i built this crypt here yeah, it really has nothing in it I i'll leave that for you guys i have no idea where it is i just kind of randomly built them i don't have any coordinates so when you start playing minecraft i have no idea we're gonna be thousands of miles from here and nobody's up so we will have hopefully Hopefully, uh, hopefully those names will be colored. And I don't know. We'll be working on stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, guys. Yeah. So guys, I hope you like this kind of preview. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you one more thing. If I direct connect, we have a passcode lock. Now it says, Solar GW has joined your game. Welcome, Solar GW. Type slash help for a list of commands. Type slash help for anybody else. We're online. Slash list. Players. Blah, blah, blah. And then it says, please log in. Now, I can't move, and I don't even know where I am. What the heck? I am literally in the middle of nowhere, and it keeps asking me, please log in. Well, when you first log in, uh, well, it will ask you to register. And then, uh, next time you log in, it will ask you for your passcode. Ta-da! Yay, I'm logged in. Uh, we can also use root passcodes if you're opt, but again, nobody's opt. So, that's the nice thing, and guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll keep you updated on the plugins we're adding. We're hopefully going to be adding a food plugin and a couple other plugins that 
allow our name bars to be like different to random colors and stuff. We had group manager, but I don't want to deal with group manager. I think you're able to TPA. Mm -hmm. TPA. Uh, but uh, I think most of that. I don't even know why we're using that mod. I mean that plugin because I don't really like using. I'm trying to remember why we are using. Yeah, I mean, there's really no point in using it. Yeah, there is no point in using it. So I think we could just remove all these hat mods because it complicates things so much, and I just hate using it. So I think we're gonna delete the mod, that plugin. Yeah, I think yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not needed. The only really good thing it does is that login message. That's it. And we don't need that anyway. So, guys, thanks for watching. And um, 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 till next time, guys. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't.